Number 51. What is the effect on the concentration of hydrofluoric acid, hydronium ion, and fluoride ion when the following are added to separate solutions of hydrofluoric acid? Then we have letter D. So in this case, we have to figure out what's going on when we add KOH. Now I see that I have written a equation here. If you guys want a recap as to why we chose this equation for this number, go back to 51A on the playlist. That one, we, we talk about why we chose this equation. But for right now, we're just going to work with the addition of uh, potassium uh, hydroxide, which is KOH. This is a salt, aka an ionic compound, because I do see that I have a metal and some nonmetals. So with group 1 ions, they're all soluble, so let's just break them up. So KOH, which is a strong base, that dissociates 100% into its ions, so K plus and OH minus. So the first thing is maybe one of these are exactly the same as my balanced equation, but K plus isn't here and OH minus also isn't here as well. So the next step is, is any one of these, do I know a reaction between any one of these and maybe one of the uh, ions or HF in the equation? And I'm looking at OH minus because I know that OH minus plus H plus, right? Hydroxide plus hydronium will always get me water. So I'm going to go with this one. Now, actually, let me just bring this up a little bit because I do want some, a little bit more room. Okay. So if we're adding KOH, that means that this is increasing. And it trickles down, which means that if I have more KOHs, I have more OH minuses. Now, remember, the OH minus is going to be grabbing the H plus in solution to produce water. So if I have more of these, it's going to latch on to the H plus to produce the water. So what's going to happen in terms of the H plus? It's going to drop because all the H plus is now linking up with the OH minus to turn into water. So that's the secret. The H plus is really dropping because you added the OH minus. So that's one of the answers. We know that H plus is going to be dropping. But now from that effect, what's going to happen to HF? And what's going to happen to F minus? Remember, these brackets just means concentration, right, molarity? So that's all good. Now, this is Le Chatelier's principle. If you lower the amount of something, just like we have here, we're decreasing H plus, you have too little. So you're going to shift to the same side. So if this is the side, the products is the drop, you're going to shift to that side. And if you're going to the right, that means that the F minus has to increase. And if you're going from HF to the products, HF would have to drop. So HF would decrease and F minus would increase. And there is your three effects on the concentration. And that's it. I really hope this helped. We have one more letter. I think we have 51E. So hang tight. And then we're done with this question. So let's keep working hard. I'll see you in a little bit. And yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.